Hi everybody, Jacob Breed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're talking about the 2023 microeconomics exam. This is question number three from set two. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit six. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. Now this question shows us a graph for an unregulated monopoly. And part A asks us if this is a natural monopoly and we have to explain. Now remember, natural monopolies always capture economies of scale through all relevant quantities. That means the average total cost curve will be downward sloping through the allocatively efficient quantity. And since the average total cost curve on this graph is constantly downward sloping, that leads us to our answer here, yes, because the average total cost curve constantly decreases and this firm always has economies of scale at any quantity on the graph. And if you haven't answered something like that, you get your first point. For part B, we are asked to identify the deadweight loss on this graph using the labels we see. And of course, this is at the profit maximizing quantity because this is a profit maximizing firm. Now the profit maximizing quantity is Q2, where MR equals MC. To find the deadweight loss triangle at Q2, we need to find the marginal cost of that quantity, the marginal benefit of that quantity, and the marginal benefit equals marginal cost point on the graph. At Q2, we find our marginal cost right there at point F, the marginal benefit curve is the demand curve, so that means the marginal benefit of Q2 is up at point H, and the marginal benefit equals marginal cost point is where the marginal cost curve intersects the demand at point G. And those three points give us our triangle of deadweight loss. Identify the corners of that triangle, F, B, G, and you get your point. For part C, we are told that the government is trying to improve resource allocation. They are going to set the price at a point where the firm is earning zero economic profit. We have to use the labeling on the graph to identify the price and quantity for the firm. Now this regulation where the firm equals zero economic profit is called a fair return price. It's going to decrease but not eliminate deadweight loss. You find that fair return price at the highest quantity where the demand equals the average total cost. We see that at point C and at point C the price is P3 and the quantity is Q3. And if you identify those correctly, you get your next point. For CII, we are asked if this policy will eliminate deadweight loss. And we have to explain using labels from the graph. Now remember, deadweight loss would actually be eliminated at point G, where the marginal cost equals the demand. At Q3, we still have this triangle of deadweight loss. It's a smaller triangle of deadweight loss, but it's still there. So that leads us to our answer here, no, because the socially optimal quantity is at Q4, where MC equals D, and at Q3, price is greater than marginal cost, and the triangle of CJG is the new deadweight loss. And if you haven't answered something like that, you get your next point. For part D, we are told instead the government is going to set the price that results in the production of the allocatively efficient quantity. We are asked if at that quantity the firm earns positive, negative, or zero economic profit, and we have to explain using labels from the graph. As I mentioned earlier, socially optimal is found where marginal cost equals demand, and that's going to be found at point G. That gives us a price of P1 and a quantity of Q4. But as you can see, at Q4, the average total cost curve is above the price. That means we have this rectangle of economic loss. That leads us to our answer here, negative, because the average total cost curve is above the demand at the socially optimal quantity of Q4, and that means the economic loss will be equal to the rectangle found at P2, P1, G, D. And if you haven't answered something like that, you get your last point. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2023 microeconomics exam, question number three from set two. If you still need more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see y'all next time.